All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Thursday, the 22nd of September, 2022. What a day. Great return day. First of all, coming back from break, and it's fall. Today was the first day of fall. It was very exciting because it was cool today. I had my window open all day, my fan, no air conditioning. It was nice in here all day long. I was very pleased with that, okay? We're heading into the new busy gaming season. It's very exciting. Um, <clears throat> that being said, it was a pretty good day to return back. First of all, today was Ask the King. First time I did it since early July. So it was a good episode covering a lot of topics. We had an abridged episode of the Level 1 podcast covering a bunch of gaming news. Um, Twitch, man, they're falling apart over there at the seams. I'm very happy I'm not there anymore. <clears throat> Among many other things going on. So check out the Level 1 podcast if you want a shorter show that covers a lot of game news. Ask the King today. Tons of questions. Majority of them were from members. As I told you, moving forward, it really feels like channel members are going to be the people who are fueling Ask the King because not many people really take advantage of the open questions anymore. I mean, I had that thread open for two and a half months. I had nine questions in it. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Nine questions in the open thread. So it's mostly for members. Um, but it went well. People chilled. People liked it. It was a good time. Then on the late stream, it was multiverses. Tonight was Variety Night, meaning there was no new character to play. There was no one character that I focused on. I started off with Velma. Then I swapped over to Iron Giant. Then I played with Bugs Bunny. And then I ended tonight with Batman. Although, admittedly, I think I did the best tonight with Iron Giant. Um, <clears throat> got a lot of wins. It was definitely fun to play with various different characters because, as you know, I don't really get to play the game that much. And since I don't, usually I'm kind of confined to whatever's the new thing that week is what I play the one time a week I play, right? This week was a little different, and I really enjoyed that. So, it was a fun stream. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who chilled and engaged and supported in any way, all right? Now, I said this on today's podcast. I'm just going to recap it quickly for those of you who watched the Daily Wrap and maybe didn't see the podcast yet. This week is important for me. Why? Uh, I lost a lot of money. I did. Last month with the trolling that happened, those false copyright strikes on my channel, I lost 300 members on this channel. I've gotten back about 100, but that doesn't help me now. Um, yeah, I got paid by YouTube yesterday, and it was way lower, as in the realm of $1,000 lower than what I usually make on YouTube. I still need to pay my bills, you see? So I'm nervous. Um, if you want to support the streams in any way this week, please do. The best way for immediate support would either be a tip by looking at the description of any video you watch this week and tipping via there, or head to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. You may not realize this, but pledging there, I get that right away. It helps me. It'll help me to pay bills for the next couple of weeks as I basically try to make up for the fact that I'm at a $1,000 loss, okay? Um, I hope... Then I get through this next week. You know, this week coming up, I have to uh, get some decorations for Halloween, for the office and all of that. It's going to be tight. So <clears throat> here's hoping the next five days will be awesome with both support and, you know, the games and everything that we did. All right. So that being said, Friday the 23rd, it's going to be Earthbound returning to the first stream. I'm excited. Right now we are taking on uh, Summers slash, if I remember, you go to the Scaraba Desert and I believe there's a big dungeon there. That's what our next agenda is in the game. And I'm excited to see how that pans out. It should be fun. Um, tomorrow night, Friday Night Fights. Old school fighting game fun in the Capcom Fighting Collection. And here's the thing. Not only has the game been on sale for the last week. But they are now actually adding new content to the game as of next Tuesday. Hitboxes in training mode. New gems in Puzzle Fighter, which I've never played. Um, and the ability to see your opponent's connection. Which I find hilarious. The game's been out for three months, and just now, they figured maybe it's a good idea to see the quality of your opponent's connection. Oh. But, the game's still going to be dead unless they either institute crossplay or put it on a huge sale or both. Um, I'm hoping. Maybe some people bought it. We'll see. Last week, it wasn't so bad. Let's hope for the best tomorrow night, okay? Keep in mind, this weekend, tons of variety. The... Modern Warfare 2 beta on Xbox Series X, so we can directly compare it to how it performed on the PS5 last weekend. Chill Fun in Disney Dreamlight Valley, Sunday Night Bites, more multiverses, and on Tuesday, 
We're going to jump into Game Pass and try to figure out what the heck game I should play next. Will it be Grounded, which officially releases on Tuesday as a fully-fledged game with apparently a single-player campaign? Will it be Hellsinger, the game that I skipped last week <clears throat> that a lot of people are saying is really good? Will it be something completely different? I'm not sure. But we're going to need something to balance with Earthbound and the upcoming Overwatch 4 until new releases come out in October. So we're going to figure that out on Tuesday, all right? We've got a good five more days of streaming coming. Thank you all for a great return day. I had a great time. I hope you all have a good evening. I hope to see you in the morning for the Level 1 Podcast and Earthbound. But if not, maybe Friday Night Fights. Thank you all. Peace out. See you in the AM. Later.